Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Marin, College, the Marin Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us tonight. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions to learn more about other institutions and programs. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered, alongside videos of the other programs as well. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Tonight, we will be, oop, went one too far, we are session B2, and these are the schools that we'll be learning about. Tonight, we'll start with Union College. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And good evening, everybody. My name is Sonia Brarin. I am the Missions Dean for Union College. I um, handle California and a little bit of international recruitment uh, for Union College. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen here. Okay, so Union College. I always like to talk about the history of Union College first for you to understand current life on campus at Union. Um, Union is the second oldest college in the state of New York. It was founded in 1795. And when the founders founded Union College, they wanted to make sure that everybody was um, welcomed at Union. So regardless of your religious background, you were accepted at Union College. So we were the first non-denominational college in the country. So we were not affiliated with any religion. And in 17, and in 1870, excuse me, this building right here, uh, the building with the dome um, top uh, was built. And it is a symbol still to all of those, um, regardless of your religious background. You can see the architectural um, detail. The dome is um, Islamic. Inside, there are Hebrew and Christian symbols and letterings um, welcoming everybody to the campus. And today, in 2020, um, still Union is uh, ranked one of the most inclusive campuses in the country, and uh, we have nearly uh, 40 states and 50 countries represented on our campus. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the power of connection, and this has to be with uh, Union's campus life. Um, you will get very close to your faculty members at Union College. Uh, these faculty members um, all have PhDs, and a lot of them could be working for think tanks, for large corporations, for big banks, and they choose to teach the 18 to 22 year olds because that is their, their passion. Union College is all undergraduate. There are 2,200 students in total, so it's a nice and small um, liberal arts and science college. Um, and our professors, uh, they stay well beyond office hours, um, off beyond their classroom time. They will meet you for coffee, um, some of them will invite you over to their homes for you to meet their families. Um, there's just um, a presence on campus. The picture in the far right hand corner here, that's President Harris. And this is his third year at Union College. And you will see him out and about always. And he stops and talks to students um, and gets to know students, um, wants to hear students' perspectives, opinions. Um, he really values um, the students' word as well. So you will be... Um, you know, you'll make friendships with your classmates, but you'll have friendships with your, your faculty members. And when you come back for reunion, you're very excited to see them when they come back. And when you come back. So a little bit about academics at, at Union. We are on a trimester system. So we offer three 10 week terms and um, we offer 58 majors and minors. Uh, and 80% of our students will do more than one major. They'll do either a double major or a major and a minor or a major and a double minor. Um, and we leave it up to you as to what you want to major in. Um, you do not need to decide until the end of your second year. Um, and we're at, at about 50-50% right now, 50% STEM and 50% uh, humanities, social science, and fine arts. Um, an interesting fact about Union College is that we were the first liberal arts and science college to offer engineering in its curriculum back in 1845. And today we have four ABET certified engineering degrees in mechanical, biomedical, electrical, and computer engineering. And 
a lot of times um, I've seen like me mechanical engineers will double major in English or bio uh, biomedical engineers will double major in a foreign language. So we leave it up to you as to what you want to, to major in. Um, another fun fact is that Union is ranked fifth in the country for women in STEM. And outside the classroom, is you're going to take your, um, your academics beyond the four walls. Um, the 80% of our students do do research opportunities before they graduate. 60% of our students will go abroad. We have over um, 30 countries that we send students to. Um, and we also have internships. Um, at least 75% of our students will do at least one internship before they graduate. There are 50 within walking distance um, in Schenectady where Union College is located. And we're also 20 minutes from Albany and we have free buses. So Albany is the state capital of New York and a lot of our students do um, internships in Albany as well. So you're gonna play really hard at Union but you're gonna play just as hard. Um, I swear they do sleep, but students are highly involved at Union. Uh, we have over 150 clubs. Uh, we're D3 sports, except when it comes to ice hockey, we're division one. Uh, we are absolutely fanatical about um, ice hockey at Union men and women. Um, even if you don't play, you can come and be a spectator. Um, so there's, there's so much to do, but the most interesting unique uh, aspect of Union is that we have something called the Minerva House System where we have seven Minerva houses, which they're actually dorms. Um, you don't live there when you come in as a freshman. Um, you actually live in a freshman dorm, uh, but the people on your hallway um, will um, uh, be on the, in the same house as you. And they put on 500 events every year um, between the seven houses. And it's just a great way for you to get to know your classmates a little bit better. Okay, and I think I'm running into a little bit of time, right? So, yeah. Okay, so right at the end. Right at the end. Okay, so yes. I just wanted to say one last thing that we are we've been test optional for years, and um, we have no supplemental questions. So um, please think about applying to Union and just contact me, Sonia Boren, at my um, email below. So thank you so much. Great, thank you so much, Sonia. Really appreciate sharing uh, everything you shared about Union College. Sure. Our next presentation tonight will be from St. Edwards University. Hello, everyone. My name is David Brene. I'm the Director of International Admission at St. Edwards University, and we're in Austin, Texas. So I'll be speaking with you for the next six minutes about St. Edwards. Um, just kind of get to, to get started in a, kind of a brief introduction about St. Ed's. We're about 3,400 students total. Uh, small private Catholic university, like I mentioned, about 18 students on average in a classroom. So you really get to know your professors well, of course. We do have over 50 areas of study, and I'll mention those kind of top majors in a second. But it's important to note that we have a lot of diversity on campus. We have students from over 57 countries at St. Edwards. Um, over 7% of our students uh, come from outside the U.S. And of course, great diversity from around the country. Um, lots to do on campus in Austin. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we have over 100 student organizations, 11 NCAA Division II teams. Uh, perhaps it's the most important thing I can tell you tonight is that our mascot is a goat. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best mascot here tonight, but um, it might be. Um, 16 club sports, our, our biggest club sport on campus is actually rock climbing um, with the premier rock climbing gym right across um, from our campus in Austin. And Austin is one of the reasons that, of course, students think about St. Edwards. Um, it is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. We like to think of ourselves as a big city with a small town feel. It's very easy to get around from where we are in South Austin. Um, but we're also known as the live music capital of the world. So we have over 250 music venues in the city. Um, we're home to some of the world's biggest music festivals and ACL, which is Austin City Limits, um, as well as South by Southwest, which is the largest conference for technology, film, and music in the world. Um, speaking of technology, we have about 6,000 technology companies in Austin, so it's one of our major industries. And at the, a little bit in the end, I'll show you some of the companies that our students work at in the Austin area. Um, but this is actually the view from our campus. You can kind of see the downtown skyline. We're about five minutes south of downtown. Um, Austin's always known as one of the best places to live in the country. Um, and St. Edwards is known as one of the best uh, places to study in Austin. So it's a great place for young people, um, uh, as I mentioned, with all the great music, food, and weather, of course. Um, but speaking about our academics, we, we try to balance and do a pr practical approach to the liberal arts at St. Edwards, meaning that you will also do a lot of work in the classroom, um, but you're going to get internships as well in various companies and experience in organizations locally. 
Our top majors at St. Edwards are business, psychology, biology, communications, uh, global studies or international relations and computer science. Um, we also have some really special majors in theater, for example, um, uh, because of also the um, strong uh, industries in Austin, such as digital media management. So that's sort of like the, the business side of the technology industry, um, as well as uh, entrepreneurship and digital marketing. Um, in addition to that, we have a strong program in video game development. We're home to over 100 video game companies in Austin. Um, we've just created a new major in animation. Um, and similar to a lot of my colleagues here today, we provide you a lot of support at St. Edwards. So you're gonna get a dedicated advisor to help you through this entire process of choosing a major. A little bit of history about St. Edwards. We were founded 140 years ago by uh, French priests. They first went to Indiana, they founded the University of Notre Dame. And so that's actually our sister school. Um, but what we have in common with them is that we have a very strong focus on social justice and equality. Um, and especially freshman year, students will be taking classes um, that will focus in those areas and especially read common books um, that focus on that topic. Um, but what's really important and what kind of comes from our Catholic heritage uh, is educating the minds, not at the expense of the heart. So we want students to really develop a sense of empathy for others. Um, I mentioned before, a very diverse campus. I'm actually the Jewish student advisor at St. Edwards. We have a really diverse religious community. Um, and we do re only require one course in religion. And of course, it does not have to be about Catholicism. Um, I did mention the activities before. There's lots to do on campus, anything from um, the club sports that I mentioned and intramurals to um, religious organizations and leadership clubs. So um, I would say our most popular club on campus is actually uh, Students for Sustainability because environmental justice and sustainability is something that's also really valued at St. Edwards. Something just I wanted to mention really quickly because I know my time is short, but we just did a renovation on our athletic facility. And you see we have tripled the size of our fitness area as well as this beautiful yoga and dance studio space. So students on campus right now at St. Edwards can reserve times to go work out, obviously very socially distanced and safe. Um, and that brings me to residence life, of course. What's interesting right now at St. Edwards is that every student on campus has their own room and own bathroom. I cannot guarantee that that will happen next year, but it's a possibility uh, given what will happen with the pandemic. Um, but we have six freshman residence halls and you always will get to choose where you live on campus and who your roommate will be. Um, they're very nice residence halls. So go ahead and check out the, the plans and videos on the website. I did mention internships before. Um, students will have the opportunity to do many internships while they're in Austin. Um, also get great jobs and uh, connections to employers afterwards. Um, so this is just a small kind of sample size of companies um, where our students have been recruited to recently or homegrown companies in Austin, like Whole Foods um, is a homegrown company in Austin. Dell Computers has their world headquarters in Austin. Apple has its largest facility outside of California in Austin. Recent news in, in terms of companies moving to our area, Tesla is building a billion dollar factory just about 10 minutes from our campus, which is really exciting. Uh, another thing that's not mentioned here is we're gonna help students with their next step. Um, what's really well known at St. Edwards is where we were number one in the country last year for students who won the Fulbright Awards from the US State Department. Um, so there's an opportunity for students to travel and study abroad after they graduate for a year. We do welcome you to apply to St. Edwards, of course. There are three ways to apply to the institution. We will waive your application fee if you apply by December 1st. You're automatically gonna be considered for merit scholarships when you apply. And similar to many of my colleagues tonight, we are test optional at St. Edwards. And we do not want you to put yourselves at risk while trying to test right now. Um, you will be eligible for lots of merit scholarships. And like all of my colleagues, I have, uh, we have an amazing net price calculator on our website for you to understand the cost at the university. That's it from me, everyone. Appreciate your time. Great. Um, thank you, David, for sharing more about St. Edwards University. Our next presentation today will be from the University of Louisville. Hi, y'all. Thank you so much. I am V with the University of Louisville um, in Kentucky, but I'm actually based in Los Angeles, California, so I'm in your time zone. And I'm here to help answer any questions on what it takes to become a University of Louisville Cardinal. Before I get started with the presentation, I did want to share a fun little video so you can get a glimpse of what student, student life is like at our university. Enjoy. You walk in here and you don't know where you fit. But there are people from everywhere, and everyone's looking. For friends, for fun, for their future. Jock, geek, troublemaker, nerd, blah, blah, blah. Forget your high school labels. Here, you'll live in a diverse world of individuals. The University of Louisville's student body is representative of the state, the country, the entire giant planet. Starting now, you get to define you. No, 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 you've got the R all wrong. 
With more than 200 majors available, we definitely have your major. Before you graduate, you'll go to more than 1,200 classes, and you'll traverse a park-like campus cultivated with more than 220 years of history. There's also lots of opportunities for internships, co-ops, international study abroad, and research programs to layer your education. UofL is about much more than academics. Explore the things you love. Join a club, volunteer in the community, get active in student government, start a study group for one of your classes. The residence halls are a great place to bond with new friends. Almost everyone loves their first roommate. <sighs> Almost. But don't roost in your room too long. We've got state-of-the-art workout facilities, a variety of intramural sports, and other fitness clubs that make it easy to stay active. Stop, that R is still not quite right. Back up. Rubbing the toe of the thinker during finals week will bring you good luck on your exams. On the other hand, don't step on the cardinal bird. It's bad luck, very bad luck. You're leaving the nest to explore new boundaries, but don't be confined by the boundaries of campus. Louisville is a vibrant city full of culture, music, parks, sports, and great food. So get ready to settle in and learn how to throw what you know, because by the time that you leave the University of Louisville, you'll be ready to. When you become an insider here, you're ready to make an impact out there. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed that uh, video. So our university began its journey in 1798, first as a private institution, but now we serve as a premier public uh, university in the state of Kentucky. We're also the fastest to have earned both designations as Carnegie R1 Research Institution and community engagement status. So as a mid-sized public institution with around 12,000 undergraduate students, we are a great option for those who want a well-rounded college experience, but without getting lost in the numbers. So our students enjoy small classroom sizes at about 26 students on average per class, 14 days um, for students in every grade in tutoring in every subject to ensure that you complete your coursework in four years. That does include uh, engineering and other programs as well. So we are very fortunate to also have our own medical school, university hospital system, direct entry into our dentistry school and um, our three, three law school program. Um, Jennifer, is the connection okay? It I'm was it like for here. just a quick second, it was like in and out and then it was right back on track. So <laughs> I think gotcha. you're doing okay, all right. You. I'll continue on. Yeah, it's just a blip here or there for a couple <laughs> words and then it comes back in. Okay, you never know with the internet. Um, so thank you for your patience. So besides the fact that our programs are not impacted, students come to University of Louisville because we are uh, very easily accessible in many ways. First of all, we're two, uh, two exits away from the international airport. We're also um, affordable with automatic scholarships and we did go test optional for both admission and for scholarships and for the flagship programs like engineering and nursing for direct entry. We also have the business uh, department who's going to make a decision when it comes to TSO, Tesco or optional soon. Our students do enjoy a thriving and welcoming campus culture. And uh, this is where students can participate in exciting research as early as freshman year. So we are an institution of many firsts besides the accolades that you see here, including the number one school in the state of Kentucky. We are also the place where um, we had the first uh, artificial heart and hand transplant. We are the first university to have a hospital attached to it, first to develop Gardasil vaccine. Uh, we also have a very well-known spinal institute, but beyond traditional research that students can get involved with, Four career centers on our campus result in many internships at UofL in the city of Louisville, where there's three Fortune 500 companies around the country and the world. Our engineering co-ops can um, range somewhere in, in earnings of 34,000 up to $90,000 during a student's college experience, which is kind of crazy to think about. 
One thing that's really relevant right now is the fact that we're dealing with pandemic. We're one of only 13 universities to have biocontainment laboratories in the country to work with the CDC uh, and conduct pandemic research. So right now, one of our breakthroughs is being funded by a company in California, and we've been able to utilize the medical expertise in order for us to wel welcome students back safely to our campus. Um, and uh, my time is almost done, but just wanted to let you guys know some fun things about City of Louisville besides what you heard in the video is that there's a 109 languages spoken full time. There are so many fun activities, including the world's under, on, only underground zip lining and for changing, but very mild seasons. And with that, thank you so much. Go cards and enjoy your evening. Thank you, V, so much for sharing more about the University of Louisville. Our next presentation will be from Trinity University. And just a quick reminder to our attendees, please uh, feel free to drop any questions you might have um, for all the schools or any of the schools in our Q&A box. So Nicole, take it away. Thank you, Jennifer. Good evening. My name is Nicole Frado. I'm the Senior Assistant Director of Admissions here at Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas. And I use she, her, hers pronouns. And I work um, specifically with students from Northern California. And so in our time together, I'm going to share a little bit about Trinity um, and in particular five distinctions about Trinity as you're looking at liberal arts schools. And even if you've heard, as you've heard from some of us this evening, many of us start to sound very similar. And so my hope tonight is that you'll take away some of those distinguishing factors for us here at Trinity. So the first is actually our size in comparison to a lot of liberal arts schools, especially in Texas in the South, we're almost double the size of those institutions. And so you have um, a, a larger amount of students for a small liberal arts school, but you still have those really intimate class sizes, the ability to know your faculty. And you can tell here from, from the numbers, right, that the people teaching your classes are those experts, the faculty in their field, because we don't have any teaching assistants. And so those people who are teaching your courses, grading your papers, reading your essays, are the same people hosting you for office hours, asking you out for a cup of coffee or to engage in discussion further, right? They're highly invested and they come to teach at an undergraduate institution because they really value that um, classroom experience with their students, as well as outside of the classroom to really be a member member of the Trinity community. The second distinguishing factor is the breadth and depth of our programs here at Trinity. So we have things like a school of business, a fully accredited ABET engineering program, computer science, neuroscience, but we also have majors like global Latinx studies and political science and Russian. And so our students really have the ability to come in and explore their interests. Certainly if you come on day one wanting to study engineering, you have that ability and you can start from day one. But if you come in undecided or something happens and you have that aha moment in the middle of your college experience, you can change paths. And because we don't have program-based admissions, once you're into Trinity, you're into all of our programs, which can be um, really assuring for, for those of you in high school trying to figure out what it is that you're interested in. Our third distinguishing factor is the resources here at Trinity. We have one of the largest endowments per capita in the country and that comes to play in several ways. So sort of going back to that first slide about our faculty, we're able to hire and retain these incredible top-notch experts in their field to staff our various departments. That also means that programs um, that are a little bit smaller at Trinity that don't have as many majors or minors such as music say are actually incredibly well staffed with a number of faculty members that you might see at a larger program. Additionally, um, and I know you can't see it right now since we're not on campus, but you see a lot of those resources come to play in our physical spaces as well. Our campus is actually deemed a historic district. So while we can't touch all this red brick that's on campus and, and our incredible architecture, we can make those adjustments in the interior. So even though we're 151 years old, you see those changes in 
constant renovations of our residence halls. Our laboratories are incredible. The spaces where students can learn and work and play. Um, our fitness facilities just got a complete renovation. And so you see those resources come out there. And the other piece that you see is in the way that we're able to fund students. So a lot of liberal arts schools either offer really incredible merit scholarships or really incredible need-based aid. And at Trinity, we're really lucky to be able to offer both and ensure that Trinity is affordable for all of our students. Uh, the next piece is the city. So San Antonio is the seventh largest city in the country, and typically you find that liberal arts schools are in the middle of nowhere. And so this is something that really attracts uh, our students to us. They're looking for that small community experience, that residential feeling, but in a big city. And so our students are able to have access to the city for internships, um, but also to engage, right, and be able to experience the music, the culture, the art here, similar to our friend St. Ed, ships up the street, right, Texas cities have a really a lot to offer uh, for our students as well. Um, and the last distinguishing fe feature is our student body. So we have uh, one of the most uh, we're one of the most diverse um, liberal arts universities in the country in terms of race and socioeconomic class. And we, as you can see from the numbers, right, attract students from, from all over. And, and I use diversity in the you know, broadest sense of the term in terms of racial backgrounds and religious beliefs, political beliefs, geographical um, experiences. And we are very aware of that when it comes to our programming and the way that we arrange our students um, on campus as well to make sure that we're really supporting the diversity that is on our campus. So if you're interested in applying, I'd highly encourage it. We are a Common App School, Coalition School, and Apply Texas School. It's free to apply to Trinity. Uh, like my peers, we are test optional and test optional for at least the next three years. And um, in addition to being test optional for admissions at Trinity, we're also test optional for all of our merit scholarships, including full tuition to our STEM fields. Uh, we have a STEM scholarship program for our STEM programs that is test optional, school of business, all of those things that I noticed uh, noted as well earlier. So I, I hope you'll consider applying. Um, here's my contact information. And as Jennifer mentioned, feel free to put any of your questions in the chat. Thanks so much. Great, thank you so much, Nicole, for sharing more about Trinity. Our next school this evening will be the University of Tennessee. Awesome, okay, so I am just sharing my screen here really quick, and there we go, okay. Guys, my name is Ashley Anderson, and I do represent the University of Tennessee. I am based out here in California, so I am right in your backyard. I'm actually in the Bay Area on your time zone, and I am students from Northern California, um, your main point of contact at UT, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay, guys, I have so much to share and so little time, but there are a lot of great reasons to consider the University of Tennessee. First of all, if you're like me and you love the feel of a large school, um, you could really love the University of Tennessee. You'll see that we do have about 24,000 students um, at the undergraduate level at UT when you add on our graduate students, it's about 29,000 students. And so that translates into just a lot of opportunities available to you. If you end up coming to the University of Tennessee, you will see that we are a R1 Carnegie Distinction School. So that means that we offer the highest level of research that you'll find on any college or university campus in the country. We do have a national laboratory, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, right in our backyard, just about a 15 minute drive from campus where our students can pursue research alongside many of the world's top scientists and engineers. You'll see we have over 360 different undergraduate programs. So um, just about anything that you're interested in studying, we're probably going to have at UT. And then we have our Division I athletics. A lot of students from uh, out of state and especially California come to us for academics, but also for the school spirit. I see a lot of Q&As. I hope I'm doing okay. Um, but I am going to uh, quickly disappear just to show you all my favorite view of campus. 
This is an aerial view of Neyland Stadium, which is one of the largest football stadiums in the country. We see over 102,000 fans in there. And let me tell you, there is nothing like being there on game day when everybody's decked out in their orange and white, cheering on the balls and singing Rocky Top together. You will see that we are located right on the Tennessee River. Fun fact, we're one of only three Division I schools that offers sailgating in addition to tailgating before our football games. And guys, moving on, um, I'll quickly touch on, we have relatively small classes at UT for being the large campus that we are. You'll see that our student to faculty ratio is 17 to one. You can expect some lecture style classes your uh, first year, but typically sophomore year on, the classes get much, much smaller. Here are some great shots of campus. I wish I could take you to UT with me right now, but since I can't, I'll try to take you there in photos. And guys, if any of you are interested in touring UT, we certainly are open for um, in-campus visit or on-campus visits. We are keeping them really small, groups of about 10 or less, just to make sure to keep students' safety first and foremost. Um, but we definitely are open and we have a lot of students actually living on campus and taking some of their classes on campus. Like I mentioned, in terms of academics, We've got just about everything that you could be looking for. We've got a great college of agriculture with an animal science program. You'll see that we have architecture and design. We're very well known for our college of business. Our supply chain management programs ranked third in the nation. Um, a lot of our out-of-state students come to us for engineering. We have just about every type of engineering, including some harder to find ones like nuclear engineering and aerospace engineering. We have a direct entry nursing program. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that we have a forensic anthropology program. Um, and yes, it is true. We do have a body farm on our campus, if you've heard that before. Okay, guys, so just to wrap up, unfortunately, I don't have enough time to go over everything uh, that I would like to share with you. But in terms of the student life experience at UT, it's wonderful. You'll see we have over 600 clubs and organizations to get involved in. There is something for everybody and we require our students to live on campus their first year. And then what I will leave you with is a little bit of information about our great location, which is Knoxville. Um, we are an urban campus, so you would be in a city, the third largest city in the state of Tennessee, and we do have an airport in Knoxville. But if you wanna get away from it all, you've got the most visited uh, national park in the entire country, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, right in your back yard. So we're great for the outdoor enthusiasts. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. But if you'd like to join our mailing list, you can do so here at bip.utk.edu. And if any of you are seniors, we would love for you to apply by our November 2nd early action deadline. And we are test optional this year. And we're also considering students for merit scholarships, even if uh, they don't submit test scores. So thanks so much for your time and go Vols. Great. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing more about the University of Tennessee. Our sixth school presenting tonight will be Maryville University. Let me unmute myself and can everybody see my screen? We're good to yes. go. Yes, right. we can see you. We can hear it. All good to get, Dennis. Last but not least, let's take a trip to St. Louis, Missouri. My name is Dennis Jones. I'm the West Coast Regional Director of Admission for Maryville University. We are a independent private university located about 20 minutes west of downtown St. Louis, Missouri. So best of both worlds. I uh, don't feel like you're near a city, lakes on, lake on campus, 60 miles of hiking trails, but you can be downtown in 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, just over 10,000 total students, 2,900 traditional undergrads. We're actually the second growing private school in the United States. Um, a lot of that's online, but we did grow 7% on the traditional side this fall. Uh, students all 50 states, 58 countries, our third most freshmen in the last four years have actually come from California. We get a lot of West Coast students, um, average class size of 15, 150 clubs and organizations, including club sports that we scholarship, men, men's women's ice hockey, men's women's rugby, uh, men's volleyball, the, the hockey and volleyball will be playing division one scheduled in 2022. I love this shot because that's Marie from Hawaii, big surfer. So students suggest she figured out snowboarding was, was fun or is fun. 90 plus academic programs. Here's probably our most popular for California students, direct entry, nursing, PT, OT, speech language therapy. Um, two most popular business programs are cybersecurity and sports business. 
Um, sports business management is the only program in the country that's corporate partnered. We partner with Rawlings. All of our majors are either directly partnered or in so lots of hands-on internship opportunities, that sort of thing. Computer science, all in-house. You can choose from the, the different tracks you see there. But we also have you know, business majors, again, bachelor's, master's, and five in any of them. Uh, forensic science, criminal justice, criminology, forensic psychology, lots of art and design majors, game design is huge on our campus, um, data science, just, just something I think for everybody academically as well. Uh, just a quick snapshot of our partners, you see Apple in there and some others, healthcare, Southern California students did two mechanical major, two separate internships with Boeing. He's now in semester one at WashU in their aeronautical engineering program. 22 division two uh, athletic teams, pretty much everything but football, lots of uh, new just in the last two years, brand new and a separate lacrosse facility, tennis facility, softball facility, baseball facility, all built in the last two years. This is out the picture out the back of our uh, health science center, um, which is just three years old. And we're one of very few schools our size to have a cadaver lab on campus. We were actually 84% to med school, um, almost twice the national average. And that's 18 of 23 students who apply and uh, observation opportunities, internship opportunities there as well. Way ahead on the technology side, we're one of nine Apple distinguished schools in the entire country. Think about that, only nine recognized by Apple for their innovation and use of technology in and out of the classroom. There's over 4,000 schools in the country. Um, all of our traditional students get iPad generation seven with the pencil. It's not a gimmick or a bribe, uh, but it is free. We use them. Um, both my daughters are there, a junior and a freshman. At Maryville, I uh, woke up in a cold sweat. I think the night we dropped off my oldest daughter because we did not buy her a pencil, a pen, a notebook, a piece of paper. She doesn't need them. It's all cloud-based. That you guys know better than I. You can and she can do homework, choose eBooks or hard copy books. Um, it's it's pretty awesome. Life coaches, they're there to help you with the transition. They'll be your academic advisor the first couple of years closely of your department. If you think you know or you know what your end goal is, they're going to make sure you do the appropriate internships, take advantage of observation opportunities. And they're there just, to, again, to help you with the transition. If you have a bad day, don't like your roommate, you know, they're one-stop shop. My daughter there's uh, for sure. 97% career success rate. Um, you can see here 16% higher than the national average. That just means that uh, you will be employed in grad school, med school, law school, or join the Peace Corps uh, within about six months of graduation. Most programs, it's faster than that. Um, nursing, PT, OT, engineering, cybersecurity, our students are about, uh, 100, at 100% within about 30 days of, of graduating. Best part, uh, we are going down. Our president dropped the tuition cost by 5% about a month before school started, right? In the middle of a pandemic, when, when you read about, you know, schools worried about revenue, housing revenue, we dropped it. We're gonna drop it another 15%, 20% over the next three years. So while most schools are going up three to 5% every year, so you're paying 12 to 20% more, we are going the other direction. So again, as a father of two, uh, that's a positive thing. Merit scholarships, nine to 14,000 GPA or test score, or we've been test optional for four years and will continue to be so. Um, so whichever one is higher, um, that's what your merit scholarship is based on. Uh, an extra $5,000 for being from a California high school. If you get 14 and the five, to take you uh, well over half our cost for the year. Um, right there will be less than you see, you see with you living at home. And because we're, we're one of very few or maybe the only school in the country where your cost is actually your cost. It's everything included. Books, iPad, room, food, laundry, parking, Wi-Fi, tutors, printing, all built in. So I don't have a bunch of fees and I'm not paying three to $4,000 on books every year. It's all included. Um, holistic review, free to apply, coalition app, common app, our application. Um, no essays required any longer. We do require a resume. Sneak peek Wednesdays, take a look at those. Married to Live was tonight. They were answering as well. They ate chicken wings that got hotter as they went. So that was pretty, pretty funny. Check out that video. And my contact info here, QR code will get you on our mailing list for more information. Um, I look forward to talking to you. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much, Dennis, for sharing more about Maryville. Um, as we still have a couple minutes, I just wanted to 
to remind anyone in any of our attendees, if they have any last questions they would like to ask, please feel free to drop that into the Q&A box. Um, and you can see that some of our presenters are popping back on camera so everyone can come on back. And um, as we'll go in the same order in which you presented. As one person finishes, just feel free next school in line to um, turn on your mic and answer as well. Could you each share um, a favorite about just a little more insight into the student life and experience? Um, you know, a favorite campus event, tradition, um, experience activity that everyone really looks forward to you and could give a little insight into um, something any of these students could look forward to being a part of if they attended your university. And we'll start with Union College. Sure. So there's so many to uh, choose from, but I think the favorite that students have um, in the spring, there's an alum who purchases one lobster for every student. So we have a lobster fest and um, students go out and enjoy their lobster. We have this eight acre garden. And, um, and of course, those of you who are allergic to shellfish or don't like lobsters or other options, but it's just a fun day to go out and enjoy a delicious lobster meal. So at St. Edwards, I think um, I mentioned before that our students are really committed to service. We have a great um, event that happens in the spring uh, where our students go out to various projects in the Austin area and do a day of service. And that's something that our students actually look forward to every year. So um, that's the big thing for us. And at the University of Louisville, one of my favorite uh, organizations and events, it's a dance party that raises money for pediatric cancer research called Razor Red. And last year, they, uh, they broke the record of uh, bringing in $700,000, close to $700,000 pediatric cancer research. So that's, that's a pretty fun event where you dance for a very long time, but also you do something really good with that time. So. At Trinity, we have a big fountain in the middle of our campus on upper campus. And so on your birthday, the eve of your birthday at midnight, you get, depending on your roommates, carried or escorted up, up the hill to the fountain. And then you are dunked in while everybody runs around and sings um, happy birthday to you. So you hope you don't have a winter birthday, but uh, that's one of my favorites. These all sound like so much fun. Um, my favorite tradition, well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one that comes to mind, is um, we have a place on campus that we refer to as the rock. And just like it sounds, it's just a big rock on our campus. And students are free to paint over the rock. So just about every single day, there's something new painted on the rock. It's a really fun tradition. And it's always fun when students are on their way to class to stop by each morning and see what's there. Awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to cheat and do two since I'm last. I'm going to do one for each of my daughters. One, Rosa likes you wow week. It's the university week of welcome. It's the first week of school, comedians, concerts, always something going on. It's just super uh, you meet people, it's, it's a lot of energy, it's pretty awesome. And then uh, the other one is Cram Jam, which is right before students go home for winter break, and they literally give away the Xbox, which is fees, and you know, so students will claim their table at seven, eight in the morning and camp day, so they're there for, for the Cram Jam festivities. <laughs> I love hearing all of these. Um, I love the presentations and I love hearing these extra insights into the favorites or unique experiences on campus. I agree, I wanna go participate and join in in all of them. Um, and I hope that our attendees and those watching on video later have also enjoyed the extra insight into each of these amazing um, institutions and the opportunities that they offer. We've come to the end of our time together tonight. Um, so thank you so much to our presenters for sharing not just facts and figures, but the passion and excitement you have for the opportunities on your campus community. We hope that all of our attendees and those watching after are inspired to check out and learn more about um, all of these programs after today. When you close your window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We would appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions to learn more about other great schools. In about a week's time, you'll be able to find this session's recording, as well as all of the other session recordings available for you to review at the site where you registered. Thank you again, everyone, for spending part of your day with us. 
reached the end. So goodbye. <laughs>